Do you think he deserves the death penalty? That's enough of the questions. Yeah, man, slap this nigga, bruh. Oof, my bad. <laughs> Was that too far? Yeah, I like my foot nah. going far in your ass. Guess I'm what up, y'all? We back, man. Detective got killed. The lawyer got killed, y'all. Here we go. Previously. The Tojo clan is struck by Kyure clan gunfire. Kamarocho's disarray only spreads wider. They thought that was old oh boy. On the surface, Komarucho, the diagram him, resembles a Yakuza turf They both floor. shop at the same spot. But in the shadows are glimpses of a construction firm and political influence. And in Yagami's own shadow. Killed him. The mole's sharp claws claim yet another victim. <laughs> we try to tell my boy, man. Chapter five days gone by. Let's go. What we do with the body? What do you mean he's dead? I mean he ain't breathing. Didn't you just say everything would be okay. Stay calm, sorry, son. I'm just as shocked as you. I ain't no psychic now. But I think the mole is responsible. <laughs> this nigga's still laying here, bro. Have you contacted the police? Hell no, no, not yet. You should do that right away, then. I'm about to investigate first. Do you think you could make the call, sorry, son? What? I need time to check things out before the cops show up and take over. Yeah, yeah, told you. Please. Yeah. Okay. And tell don't mention Thanks. don't mention his Ray Bans because I'm taking him. Yeah. Uh huh. Nigga didn't have, he didn't have glasses on. I seen him, officer. Okay, yo, we gotta investigate, man. Let's get juicy. Oh, turn down. Oh, look at the glass. Go to damn case. Eyes are gouged out. Same as all the most other victims. Okay, we got space. Look at he repping the gang. Oh, what's that? We got stabbed in the chest. A bullet hole. Hold on now. This must have been called to death, but that's not the mole's usual MO. This is a faker right here, y'all. The mole ain't shoot nobody. Boy, he got shot up. Hmm, what about since I was phone? Might be a good place to look. Well, fuck, it was going off when I called him earlier, so definitely on his body. Okay, quickest way to find it would be calling again. Oh, yeah, let me hit him up on the cell. The ringtone led me straight to it. All right, here we go. Damn, bro. Break everything down, no? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hmm, just have to listen close. See where it's coming from. There we go. That boy kipping in his Sakoni boot. Brush pocket. Uh-huh. Oh, there it is. There go that Nokia. We got everything, man. Give me glasses up. Let's go. This call here should tell me everything I need to know. Boy, got the gloves. They call Pizza Hut. But most of these are at Jinda's office. Oh shit, I can't read that all of them except the last number he called. Who's that? He called Fuenya and then. Well, uh, okay, since I called just a few hours ago before his death, who was he talking to? Okay, he called it. This dude called this number. This dead nigga called it. Oh dang, here they come. You know, we ain't in the hood. Okay, quick. Who is it? <laughs> Dead nigga collector. Yeah, I got one. He received a call from the Genda Law Office. Let's get it straight. I told her to call now, okay? You got here fast, Detective Kuroiwa. That's what I'm saying. Like you know what's up. Shintani, huh? Yeah. His name has been coming up a lot lately. He's the reason Hamura walked, after all. <laughs> Perhaps. You couldn't stand his newfound fame, so you often. Huh? Man, stop, not playing with me, bro. i off you. I heard you two weren't exactly on good terms. Oh, he's trying to frame me. <laughs> Do you greet everyone by accusing them of murder? 
guess that's just how cops like you operate. Dirty. Forensics will be here soon. We will need you present as a resident of the property. After that, we'll need some time to investigate. How long? You'll have to find somewhere else to stay tonight at the very least. I don't have money for that. Yes, you can afford bribing a cop. Oh, who told you? IBA sources aren't even that reliable. Don't know what you mean. I don't know what Oh, I'm sure you do. I ain't gonna admit it though. Okay, so he know I'm bribing I IBA, the dirty cop. Yeah, sorry. I had to wait around for the cops to get here. Is Genda Sensei still at the office? Mm? Yes. He wants to talk to you about Shintani. As do I. Hoshino, too. Okay, I'll head over now. Who's a Hoshino? See you soon. Oh, I'm on my way, bro. So they gotta investigate in my. I, I gotta lock up shop, bro. New info, okay. Hi, man. Okay, guess the. Okay, who's this? Kim. Okay, this is the damn dude that's. Running from that gang, guess the King Gang leader went somewhere else to call show. But at this point, the damage has already been done. Scores of innocent people are still left crying over their injuries as I send this. Well, do something about it. Emoji face? You like me saying, I think you should help out your fellow townspeople next time. Who the hell you, that's who you are, right? I don't know you like that. I'll try to help you out. Poor Jajinda. All right. Y'all make sure y'all lock up and feed my mystery cat. It's always making damn noises when I investigate. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go holler at uh, Big Boss Man. Uh, my boy's boss that died, you know. Ex-boss for me. I'm out here independent worker now. That man, so the officer came in accusing me. And the dude got shot up, man. It's like, that sounds like a setup right there. And he's in my place. It's like somebody's a copycat, but they just didn't give a damn. Like, we're gonna shoot you then, we're gonna poke your eyes out, bruh. Like, woman, could you drop? Oh, oh, people on me. No, I'm not fighting. Yeah, the nigga dead. That's all you need? I right, am out. Nah, what? What's up? I remember that desk. <laughs> when I was a loser, solving everything. I know you've had a rough night, Yagami. I slept well. But if you're up to it, can you tell us what happened to Shintani? I don't know. I think his eyes got gouged out. He's damn, uh, in my closet. And that was it. Sari-san was having trouble getting in touch with Shintani. So I decided to give him a call myself, see what the deal was. Yeah. But when I dialed him up, I heard the phone ringing in my closet. Yeah, his booze mobile's in the closet. Shintani was killed the same way as all the others. Not really. The others? Do you mean his eyes were... Yeah, and they couldn't see nothing. They gouged couldn't see out. It. They couldn't yeah. see it coming, y'all. You see what I'm saying? But Shintani's beef was with the Kyore clan. Why would the mole target him? I'm not so sure. It sounded like he knew something when you talked earlier. Yeah, I'm on it. Right. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do ya? Come on! The mole is way bigger than you know. Way bigger than I know. He probably knew more about the mole than I did. And his source had to have been Hamra. Maybe they killed him to keep their secret safe. Or it's a cop. But bigger bigger than I know. Why did he have to put Shintani Sensei's body in your office? To set me up! Not sure. For us? Maybe to harass me? Maybe to scare me off their trail? <laughs> Maybe both. Yagami. What's happening? Hmm? You might want to lay low for a bit. It's not safe for you here. You called Get me here. Get out of town. You called me here. Somewhere quiet. If the mole comes after you next. Right. I'll do just that, Genda Sensei. Man, I ain't worried about nothing. Why are you staring at me like that, bro? You know? He says I, I watched I over Chintani since My his music. first day as a lawyer. Get out a good head on his shoulders and a knack for the job I could never compete with. Ooh, but he didn't have the guts to succeed when push came to shove. But Not it wasn't most solving persistent cases lawyer like I've seen. Over here. Even so, he looked up to me. But he looked down. Guess I to took me. it for granted. Thought he'd always be part of the team. Now he's 
it. When I first joined, no Shintani Sensei was the one who showed me the ropes. He was a reliable man. Look at us. Ain't it always like that when nigga die? He got something good to say now. Thanks for this, Yagami. Come on, sorry, Kun. I'll walk you to the station. Sure. Station? Feel free to stay here tonight, Yakami. She snitching? <laughs> I appreciate it. What about you, Hoshino-kun? I think I'll work a little more before I head home. Oh, he got to get the hell out of here, man. If you say so. Good night. Good night, boss. Man, don't be talking my ear off, bro. So can you show me the ropes? No, no. Uh, rest up, that's just a long. Alright, bro, you gotta you gotta do something, bro. You can't be sitting here while I'm sleeping on the couch. Take a rest up. Where can I rest? Do I gotta talk to you? Make yourself at home, Yagami-san. I'll leave you the key. You've been here way longer anyway. I know. You deserve it more than me. Nigga, this is talking to me, nigga. This was my home. That was my desk. Alright, so I'm gonna go lay down on the couch. Bro, can't you move the hell out the way? Am I still supposed to be talking to you? Why is the arrow still on you? Sleep. I'm gonna sleep on the... You ain't got no sofa sleeper? Um, Yagami-san? Oh my gosh. Do you have a minute? I guess I have to. We haul at him, y'all. He look up to me. Sure, what's up? Well, it's about Shintani-sensei. Oh, I don't have a minute anymore. So about to Yagami san, I know you just told Genda sensei you're gonna lay low, but that's not true, is it? Hell you no. want to keep hunting down this killer. And if I said yes, don't worry, I won't tell Genda sensei. But in return, oh, cool. hmm? what do you mean in return, they gotta slap you. I want to help you look for the mole, that is. I won't slow you down, I promise. The mole's looking on your to chin. avenge Shintani, huh? <sighs> He wasn't as strong as he let on. The tough guy act was a mask he wore to hide his insecurities. Okay. Deep down, he was just weak. Damn. That's why he was going along with Hamura, not because he wanted to. I mean, who can say no to a Yakuza? And now look how it turned out. I was sitting right next to him this whole time. Yet there was nothing I could do to help. You know, I'm still young. I don't even know what kind of lawyer I want to be. What's up with the Rocky music? Criminal? Civil? Not the slightest idea. But I know one thing. I don't want to be the kind of lawyer who sits on his hands after his friend gets murdered. Which means... Are you sure about this, Hoshino? Huh? Genda-sensei told me to lay low. If you're seen helping me... Don't worry about that. I'll defend myself in court if I need to. I'm talking about these hands. Now, like, you Yagami san do you mind if I tag along? <laughs> You'll just tell Genda oh, Sensei no. if I refuse, huh? Yeah, you got that right. I don't care, though. Not much choice, then. Welcome aboard. Glad to be working with you. <sighs> well, let's get down to business. First off, I want to know what Shintani was doing before he died. Yeah, look it up. And I have some evidence that may tell us just that. Let's show him this phone number. I should have something that hints at when Sugar was doing. Before. Okay, we're going to show him the phone number. Like, who this, cuz? Okay, here we go. Who this? Whose number is not fine yet? Don't step, Nick. Shintani dialed this number earlier today. I want to know where it goes. Google. Right. That makes sense. Sure, hell don't make it's dollars. It's a good thing the killer forgot to take Shintani's phone, huh? This way we can see who he was calling. You can say some the shit killer didn't forget. Even if the phone was gone, we'd still be able to get Shintani's data from his provider. Really? I had no idea. Yep. I bet he left the phone so I'd find the body quicker. Yep. Huh? I mean, purpose. he went through the trouble of hiding it in my office of all places. Probably wanted to cause as much chaos as possible, you know? Hey! Uh -huh. The number got a hit in the search. Well, what is it, Timmy? It's apparently for the, uh, Advanced Drug Development Center. What? What the hell? My nigga was what? on that shit. Do you know it? Three years ago, there was a pretty famous murder there. A patient was killed, and their body dumped in the mountains. 
And the man they arrested for it was named Shinpei Okubo. So, who's this? Who this now? Okubo, Okubo. Wait, he was your client, wasn't he? Okay. He worked as a contract laundry man for the center. Every two or three days, he'd stop by to pick up their dirty linens. According to the police report, it was thought he carried the body out in a bundle of sheets. Right. And you defended him in court, and won. That's what I do, bro. But then he... he got free, and... Uh, you can stop there. Yeah, shut your ass up. You know how I trigger. But why would Shintani-sensei have called the ADDC? Who would he even talk to? The mole? I bet we'll find out if we give them a ring. But it's getting late. Uh, so get you should go home. Get the fuck out of your we both office. need some shut eye, huh? Yeah, we can start fresh tomorrow. Where do we want to meet? Oh, right. I'm here, nigga. <laughs> we want to keep this a secret from Genda Sensei, after all. Oh, okay. Well, I'm on the couch. There's an arcade called Charles up on Park Boulevard. That should work for now. Okay. I'll let Kaito san know. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'll see you. Why you need to let Kyle sign no, though, nigga? I didn't tell you to. He already messing up. Okay, we got new info. Okay. I'm about to go to sleep. He gone. I'm gonna be all in his desk. What's that nigga got? I know he got some candy and some mints. Some free mints they be giving out. Oh, I can't get over there. Alright, so. Let's rest up. So hush I meet him at Charles today. Guess it's time to head off. Okay, let's head to the arcade, man. I hope this ain't the same arcade, bruh. Look at the homeless man on the right. Uh, what's up, mm -hmm. bruh? What's the old man doing lying on the ground? Is he stinky? Okay. Oh, is he okay? Okay. Come on. Bruh, bruh! Get up on stomp your ass out, bro. Let's talk to him. Excuse me. I brought everything good in the hood. Look, you got some cookies, nigga? <clears throat> nah. He said, nah. Nee. Mugworth. Hmm? What was that? There should be some growing just behind the fence. Saw it. But could you grab some for me? There's a job back here? Hold on, okay. I got you. What is this, this mug worth? This man on drugs or something. Here, bro, sniff this. Excuse me. He said, roll it up, nigga. Nah, no, I ain't doing all that. You mean this? Yeah. Let me place that mug worth into the gore right here. There. Man, come on now. Just stuff it in and close the lid. It's <laughs> shaking, man. Come on, man. Uh, all right. This is tears. Like, thanks, bro. Ha <laughs> Woo! Now I'm feeling much better. Glad to hear it, old time. What was it? What's that drink just now? Yeah, what's that? Oh, this? It's called Extract. Extract of what? Reggie. And light green. Technically speaking, this is a medicinal caution, but extract rolls much easier off the tongue, does it not? Oh, but forgive me for the introduction myself. I'm Lyama. I'm making market my own extracts right here at Camarucho. Look, is it, does it pay? That's why people call me the Hermit of the Dragon's Palace. Okay, Kermit. This is Yagami. Oh, people, just call me Yagami, bruh. What's this Dragon's Palace thing about? You know that abandoned building in the hotel district. That's the Dragon's Palace. My pharmacy's on the fourth floor. No, nigga, you was on the floor. So you telling me you got a building? Pharmacy. So that mugger was one of your ingredients? <clears throat> yeah, nigga, all, all top. I came here to gather the ingredients for the track I'm making, but I got winded and ended up taking a nasty fall. So you ain't homeless. My bad, disrespecting you. You just old nigga fell on the ground. <laughs> I'm glad you were around. Otherwise, I'd have made it. Why not have made it? I just met a man who was apparently a hermit that makes drugs in an abandoned building. That's not strange at all. Who this? Ah? Well, if it is Yagami, this is a key in gang time. Ready to die upon Bring it! Oh, let's get you getting caught. Hey, get your ass over here, gang gang. Better whoop his ass. 
Oh my gosh, man, they got another. Shake down with them. 3.0. Ooh, where did they find these trees? And they turn. Now, go get Yagami and break them. What's up? Uh, Tissue boo You asked for it. What's up, nigga? Uh, big nigga! Big nigga attack! Uh, big nigga attack! Uh, uh, we getting the big one out! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 we on you! They like do stuff, dog! Uh, they know the deal! Oh, shit! Uh, bro, help me out! Oh, he punted me! Hold on, bitch. Hold on, bitch. What's up? Fail? What's this? What the hell was this guy? It's like he's invincible. How the fuck I fail? Ah, <laughs> uh, looks like you don't even have a fraction of his strength. What we talking about? Right, give me some of that. Yeah, Since you got yourself into quite the pickle, y'all yeah, gonna be saying? You shouldn't be here right now. He's like, nigga, I got that drink, homie. Gonna help you out. Now hold your horses. I wanted to at least pay you back for your help here, so I brought you a little stuff. Thunderstrike ex extract. What the hell is that? Hmm? It's this monkey blood, nigga. What is it? Yeah, what is it? One of my miraculous homebrew extracts, of course. Once you drink it, well, you'll find out soon enough. Uh -huh. I'm gonna beat your ass. You done chit chatting with your hobo friend over there? Hurry up and fight me, asshole. No, he's not even a hobo, cuz. This nigga got a job and everything. Uh. Damn it. Okay, let me drink it. Okay. Item. Okay. Thunder Streak! Activate it! Is this Thunder Streak? I don't think I'm using it. Oh. Oh, it is activated. Oh, get on the big man. Thunder straight, nigga. Thunder straight. Thunder straight. Thunder straight, nigga. Thunder straight, hunger for it. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Okay, it's done. Finish it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the old man using that thunder strike, yo. What is that noise, nigga? Give him his ass with a strike. So feel free to come by when you want. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting all the keys, ain't I? Oh, thanks. Dragon Palace key. I'm like a janitor. Dragon Palace is a nice casino gambling hall. So swing on by if you're looking to get away for a while. Damn, bro. Wow, sounds like all kinds of stuff over there. <laughs> Ooh. 
My back is killing me. You need a stretch of mine, can't fix all that. It says, What's up, man? You good? Excuse me. You think you'll be okay? If not, I'll come always give you a lift. Back to the dragon, though. No thanks. I wouldn't want you to go out of your way like that and dirty up the back of your jacket when you put me on your back. It's fine, man. I ain't give a fuck. I was actually planning on going that way. Don't let it trouble you. Are you sure? Then I'll take you up on your offer. What we about to do? Is you about to give me a car? I don't care I'm here. Man, they ain't living better than me. Kinda. Oh, no. You, nigga, you in the hallway. Whoa. What is all this? <laughs> what would you have a seat? On the floor? This is some kind of stew? Ugh, it totally reeks. What the hell do you put in there? It's like fish ass. I'm curious about my hot pot, are you? Well, this will be the liquid base of our extract. Huh? You mean that we're stew? Correct. That stew contains a special broth that when mixed with the right ingredients, turns into the extract. How you get out of this hell hole? Fuck, who is that over there? Woo, I can breathe again. Breathe again. Uh, I know it's funky in there, bro. So let's go um, meet up with my uh, wannabe me at the um, casino. Continue this investigation. This is the same casino. I know he hates seeing me in here. Y'all, what's poppin'? Come through. Shit, get to stopping. Niggas better get to talking. What's going on, my boy? Got his eyes popping out. Popped out, yeah. Okay, we got we got the mass man with Kaito us. Kaito-san told me you'd be here. Don't forget about me next time, yeah? I wish you'd fucking forget about me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Is there a reason your little gang needs to keep meeting up here? <laughs> Why it's so nice of you to let us use your store, Higashi-san. Especially when you're clearly so opposed to the idea. Don't talk down to Yakuza, kid. Oh my god, stop. Cut it's this. okay, Higashi-san. I think we all know you're nicer than you let on. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, we told you something. bro. Damn. And you're braver than you look, Hoshino-kun. You got the skills to back it up? He's a stupid. Just a third degree black belt. Ooh. Huh. Not that I've ever had to use it. <laughs> Play it with him. Keep playing with him. Well, I'll call this meeting to order. Sure. I'll do the honors. Take that lipstick off, first of all. Why are we smiling? What's going on? Masamichi Shintani of the Genda Law Office has been murdered. Given that his eyes were gouged out, it's likely the mole was responsible. And I'll need all of your help to track him down. Man, he got shot, man. We ain't going for that. The ADDC, huh? Weird time for that to come up again. Is that dirt? <laughs> again? It's come up before? We can talk about that later. What's important now is Shintani called them before he was killed. I don't get it. What's the connection between Shintani and the ADD? This uh, drug something. Yeah, ADDC. Hmm. Huh. I think I remember them being in the news a lot last year. Something about a new drug that could win a Nobel Prize. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Brought my geek with me. Let's go. What you got, homie? The ADDC's research into AD9 has now been published in one of the world's leading scientific magazines leading to the gathering of reporters from both Japan and abroad that we have here today. It's a brand new dementia drug. They okay. call it AD9. This was right after director Kido from the ADDC published his paper on it. They're still undergoing clinical trials on larger animals, but apparently every single mouse they've given it to has made a full recovery. Okay. Now with the, what the, the man giving the presentation here is Dr. Ryusuke Kido, a world leader in neurophysiology and the primary researcher on AD9. He's the one who showed me around the center when I was looking into Okubo's case. Guess he's been the director for a while now. From what I can tell, the Ministry of Health is increasing the ADDC's budget to hasten the development of AD9. Okay. They're even adding another building to the center. It's a huge project. Okay, another construction. Damn here. good deal they've got. I'm still not getting it though. Why Shintani go and call them? That's what we're about to find out. 
And Why? there's only one way to do that. Why are you hand on Come your on! Camera? Can't just take a man's phone. Where are we? First off, about? we'll need to figure out who Shintani was calling. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that over the phone? I suppose that all depends on your acting skills, Detective Yagami. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm a cop. Oh, this is Detective Yagami with the Japanese Police Department. I just figured out who he called and why. I just, ha I just had to figure ADDC, it out. ADDC, front desk speaking. Hi there, ma'am. This is... Uh... Yagami, a detective. This is Takayuki Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. Bob. <laughs> Hello there, Yagami-san. I'm calling about a lawyer named Shintani, who I believe contacted you yesterday. Yeah, what the I was about? wondering if you could connect me with whomever he spoke to. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. It's in violation of our personal information. What if I violate my foot, well, ass. the truth is, Shintani-san passed away yesterday. Uh. This is the last number he dialed, so I'm calling to ask about him. I'm sorry, but that information is private. Okay. You'll I'll... need a warrant if you want to know more. I'll be there with your I ass. really am sorry, sir. I see. Thank you anyway. Man, come on, y'all. We don't give it like that. <laughs> no way this happens over the phone. It'll be faster to just head over there myself. Wolf's you think that's gonna work? Not sure, but I know the director, remember? Worst case scenario, I come back empty-handed. I'll come with you, Yagami-san. Leave me the hell alone. Okay. Me and Agashi will go check out what's going on with the Matsugane family. Shouldn't be tough with Hamura out of the picture. Hey, I don't remember saying I was gonna help you. Well, you are a nice guy. By the way, Yagami-san, whatever happened to that guy from three years ago? Shinpei Okubo. You know, bro. He's in the detention center. Been there since they gave him his death sentence. Have you ever gone to see him, Yagami-san? That's what I needed. No. Why would I? Why do you him. ask, anyway? Why do you have lipstick on? <laughs> I don't know. I was wondering what he was like. The case got tons of news coverage, you know. I was also wondering what you thought about the case. You know and what I thought. Did you really think that he was innocent? Oh, fuck are you doing this in front of everybody, bro? Probably. Get you with an uppercut. But then he walked. Killed his girlfriend. You defended him for that, too, yeah? Oh, I did? I, I did. I was gonna say, ask me after he murdered him and Chan in cold blood. Yep. Did you believe him then, too? I don't know. You so kept saying the same thing. How he could never have killed anyone. So but we, we defended him after. I didn't believe him, no. Fighting for him in court made me sick to my stomach. Do you think he deserves the death penalty? That's enough of the questions. Yeah, man, slap this nigga, bruh. Well, my bad. <laughs> Was that too far? Yeah, I like my foot nah. going far in your ass. If you, you say know. so. What if it's this masked man? Maybe. Look, I'll, you're um, a suspect now. Yagami-san? You're heading to the ADDC now, yes? For shizzle? I'm gonna grab a taxi for us. I'll wait for you over on Park Boulevard. Bro, see my new slave, yeah. The new just came out, nigga. 2022 version. Okay, so, I'm gonna look at him. You gonna meet up with your slave, yeah. Nigga wanna be me, you know, he look up to me. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna holler at y'all. Yeah, so we gonna meet up with my boy at the, we gonna head over to the ADDC building. Since they won't get no info on the phone. You know, it's shit different when they meet up in person, you know what I'm saying? What's up, bro? Hmm? Mm hmm? Whose wig is this? What is that? Some weird bird? No, that was a fucking wig, bro. Over here, Yagami-san. I have a taxi for us. Bro, whose wig was that? Hold on, bro. Fuck that wig, man. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Side bitch for a nigga wig, bro. You see that wig, Glenn? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Let's be on our way, huh? Windy day, they had their wig flying. Look at the different scenery. Huh? 
I've heard a bit about this place before. But the ADDC, isn't it just one part of a larger organization? Like what? If I recall correctly, they call it the Medical Institute. Is that accurate? <laughs> yeah. They own every last inch of this campus. <sighs> it's incredible. Even with all these buildings, they're still getting budget to expand from that new drug. Put it together. Yeah, so? Me. Is it the same as you remember? Yeah. Can't remember shit with you talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Are you advanced drug development center? Huh? Don't go too far ahead! Yagami-san! Get the hell out the car then! Are you sleep? Should I got my skinnies on, man? Huh? Straight business. Straight business like my skinnies. Mm-hmm. Big ass lobby, bro. Get for a what big are lobby. you all shaking up for? Calm down. Whoa. Just stick with me and you'll be fine. Got that, Yagami? Whoa, my... Yagami-san! Try not to just ditch me, okay? I'm over here tripping, huh? Is something wrong? Yeah. It's just... Thinking about the After homies. three years, it still looks the same. Huh? Almost like time itself has stopped. Yagami-san. After three years. So Come on. Front desk's over there. So that might have been a flashback of when he was with the uh, dude that's dead. Let's go front desk. It's like an airport, bro. Go ahead, yeah, go to Kansas City. Kansas City, Missouri. It's not in Kansas, man. Do you have an appointment, sir? I you don't. You want to talk to the phone? My name is Hoshino from the Genda Law Office. This is my partner, Yagami. We're here to talk about a murder that took place in Kamurocho Man, yesterday. Shut your dumb ass up. A, a murder? A co-worker of ours named yeah. Shintani. He was the victim. We have a record that he called this center before he was killed. Huh? Yeah. We're hoping you can help us track down exactly who he spoke to. Don't look stupid. I'm very sorry, sir, but I can't provide such private information. Uh, you don't want to talk to... With your ass. Uh... Well... Could I at least talk to Director Kido instead? He's an old friend of mine. I still work here? Just let him know Yagami stopped by to say hello. Uh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Look over there. They chill? They probably did. Oh, there you go. Got the coda sack. Let's holler at him. Light coda sack. Okay. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Big Ben has stepped up in here. Oh, look at that. Gentlemen, I really don't know what else you want from me. I have nothing more to say. I've told the police all that I know. So he's talking to me or is he talking to... Okay, this is him. Yeah, I know. Sorry about all this, Director. Problem is, my partner here won't give it a rest till he sees the scene of the crime. But I'm sure we'll be leaving soon. Well, that's not what we agreed hey, upon. You know this isn't about how long it takes. Three years earlier, okay. And what about Okubo? I take it he's still not fessed up. Uh, no, not quite as of yet, sir. But we all saw where the body was, exactly where he said it would be. Quite true. Not much point in fighting this now. The minister has made it clear that he wants it resolved soon as well. Just look at how much trouble one contractor has caused. Contract. Sorry, which minister? I didn't know about this, sir. The health minister. It's all his call how much funding we get. Director, if I may, yeah, let me if you would just direct me to the scene of the crime, 
I could head over there myself. I'll be out of your hair in no time, I assure you. I'd rather you didn't wander on your own. So instead, she can show you. Terra Sawakun. These gentlemen here are Shintani Sensei. And, Call me Yagami, bro. Uh, Yag Yagami. Yeah, Yagami. It's a pleasure. I hope I can help you find what you need. Well, with that, I'll be taking my leave. Thank you again, Director. Apologies for all the trouble. Man, shut up, kissing ass. This way. I can show you how to get to Wakusan's room. Who's Wakusan? The guy who died in his room? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And you are... Terasawa-san, huh? Wow, you're young. And a looker to boot. Um... What? Can we keep this professional? Please. Huh? Nice try. Hey, look at Shintana you, bro. Sensei. Look at you. Ain't nobody messing with you, man. Not the friendliest girl in town, huh? We're not exactly welcome guests here. After I busted my ass to pass the bar, I always figured I'd have my pick of the ladies. Uh, look like you just came from the bar, nigga. Look at you. Tighten your, tighten your tie up, man. We're professional. What you saying now, Teresa Sawan? What's up? Let's go. Right this way, please. Straight ahead is the ADDC's general ward. Okay. Wakusan's room is on the fourth floor. Walk a flock of room on the okay. We own it. Four flow. So this is the first case when a dude um kill somebody. Before this was the room man. assigned to Wakusan. What's down there? Yeah, what's down there? Oh, That's the off. research wing, where they develop all our new drugs. Oh. Okay. You can't get in without a gold key card, though. Not even I have one. <laughs> gold, huh? I suppose because it's the heart of the center's operations. Huh. Sounds like it's a whole nother world back there. Yeah. Security like that must be a bitch. Come on, Yagami. Maybe they test the drugs on people and they framing deaths on other people. Maybe he tested a drug on somebody. Dude died and they framed Before he him. died, Wakusan spent most of his time in here. And when was he admitted? Oh. Two years ago. With Alzheimer's. Some kind of dementia, right? Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative disease that leads to dementia, yes. Yeah. In fact, it's the cause of almost 70% of all dementia cases. So, they're one and the same, kinda? Anyway, do what you gotta do, Yagami. I'm on. Uh-huh. Okay, let me investigate, huh? Uh, dollar store lipstick, okay. Um, let's see. Suspicious. Yeah, what's that? Okay. Hey, heavy head. What the? Oh, you peed on yourself? Has anyone else slept here since Wakusan's death? Nobody, no. And Wakusan was missing from his room the morning of the incident, yes? That's right. So, he was murdered here, then carried out. I can't say for sure, but it's likely. Okay. Okay. Did they throw his ass out? Let's get the window. Hey, the window's sealed shut. There's no way Wakusan could have escaped through here. How do you get out of here, bro? He's got a lock on it, right? What the? All the rooms have windows like this, right? It seems like people would notice if something was going on in here. Well, we only have so many employees in this ward. The halls stay fairly busy, but it's mostly dementia patients moving between appointments. I see. I wonder how the room looks from the hallway. You got all you need from here, yeah? I up? think so. You doing something? Yeah. Man, I'm getting out of there. Mm, you can definitely see what's going on from out here. Shintani Sensei, can you lay on the bed for me? Yeah, get your ass up there. Uh, I guess so. Care to join me, Terasawa-san? <laughs> what do you got to lose? 
Her job, nigga. And yours too? Get it together. See, <laughs> said, come here. It was a joke. So from this vantage point, you can't make out the person's face. Mm -mm. So, was this the colossal waste of time I knew it'd be? Nope. I got something I'd only get from being here. Does it matter? It's been days. Case is practically closed. Shinpei Okubo is guilty as hell. Well, according to him, he's not. Yeah, well, so of course, that's what he says. Consider the facts, though, man. You want to review the case? Yeah, 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 yeah. Review the case. Sure. Let's go over what we know so far. Whatever you want. Go, Nick. All right. Here we go. Our victim was the patient staying in this room. Koichi Waku, male, age 66. At 8.30 a.m. on the morning of the crime, the nurses noticed he was missing from his bed. Given Waku's degenerative state, they assumed he was wandering around the hospital somewhere. But after being unable to track him down, hospital staff filed a missing persons report. Right. You know what a dementia patient's like, though. Hard to imagine they'd make it outside on their own. The only conclusion, then, was that somebody must have taken him out of the hospital. After inspecting all the cars that came in and out of the center, they were left with one possible suspect. A laundry man by the name of Shinpei Okubo. Okay. It didn't take much prodding for Okubo to confess burying Waku's body out in the mountains. And lo and behold, three months after Waku disappeared, the cops found his body rotting away right where Okubo said it'd be. Cause of death was most likely suffocation, but they still don't know for sure. Any objections to this so far, Yagami-sensei? What? If you... Actually, yeah. You're forgetting something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and yeah. what's that? Okubo-kun insists he didn't kill anyone. All he admits to is dumping the body. Oh, he probably got paid by these doctors. Can't say for sure that the guy who dumped the body actually committed the murder. That's true. If I budge on that, I'd be admitting Okubo Khan did it before the trial even started. Oh, sure. But come on, Yagami. Guy's got a history of assault, and it's on record. So? Roughed up his girlfriend, accidentally broke her finger. Accidentally? Right, but that was over six years ago. He was just a kid, got drunk, made a huge mistake. And what? It's okay for a kid to hit a woman? Of course ah. not. But that's not what he's on trial for. True. That's what they do. They I don't condone what he did. But legally, committing one crime doesn't mean you're guilty of another. Fine. But what about Okubo's shaky alibi? What'd he say? He said he left the center at 10 a.m. after grabbing the sheets from the general ward. Claimed Wakusan's corpse somehow got loaded into his truck. <laughs> Who's going to believe garbage like that? If anyone should, it's his lawyers. Dummy. So, we're meeting with Okubo after this, right? Oh, yeah, he we, should just be honest with him. We need that. Tell him the case is unwinnable. So I'm Are you two done here? I'm sticking with what I said. Yep. Can you show us the garage next? The one where Okubo kun parked his truck. The service entrance, I think it was. Uh, hook it up. That's the only other place we'll need to see today. Hook it up, Tugwalali Nani, whatever your name is. We'll need to take an elevator down there. Follow me. Whoa, whoa, niggas! Looking at me, whoa! Okay, y'all, so I'm going I'm ready with... to go. Man, shut up, we doing a job, man. So I'm going with these people's trying out this new drug on some of the residents. Remember, because dudes like the mouse, they're trying it on mouse. I think they tried it out on a resident. Didn't go so well. Didn't want to get sued. So they uh, threw the body out in the laundry man, and the dude dumped it. Maybe they paid him some money. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going with. She's like, you know you're wrong, right, nigga? I don't know. I was just saying what I think. Tawadi Lani, Teresa Walla. Let me say your name. Teresa Walla. Damn elevator at. Oh, it's it. Oh, 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 hey, hey. Where you going, huh? Hey, 
Yagami. What's that? You're never gonna last if you keep taking cases like this. Criminal suits are a constant test of your conviction. Your sense of justice. They don't even pay that well. Careful who you say that around. Yeah. Look, just chill out, okay? No. Take it from me. I've been around the block way longer than you have. And you ain't did shit right. Okay, so his body, his body was done right here in the load of the <sighs> Looks like a regular old garage to me. Hmm. You'd make it out with no problem if you put a body into your truck down here. It's quiet. It is. I don't need you to Hey, Yagami, check this out. These are the carts they use to collect sheets and linens. Day of the crime, Okubo was all over the hospital with one of these things. Okay. It would have been simple for him to sneak a body in there and cart it right out. Maybe so. Or somebody could throw a body in there. Well, where was Okubo parked on the day of the incident? Oh. Um... Nigga, you don't know, would you? I ain't even asking you. I was gonna investigate. Uh, okay. See any laundry man streaks around here? Uh, Oni's gonna talk to you? The truck was parked here, with the back facing the elevator. Here's a recreation of it. Who, who I see. DNA evidence from the victim was found in the flatbed of the truck. That's proof enough that the body was there. And when they confronted Okubo, he flat out admitted it. That don't mean he killed him, man. You don't get what I'm saying, bro? I was punching your shit. That's why you did, because you're stupid. Damn. All right. Just keep investigating. What you got to say? When was Wakusan last seen? Just before 8 a.m. on the day of the crime. Yeah, 7.50 to be precise. An up. ADDC scientist will be testifying to that. He claims he saw him nice and cozy in his bed. I see. Can we talk to this witness? Yeah, pull him up. I tried to get an appointment, but they shut me down. Said they don't want us interfering with their research anymore. They're not willing to make an exception this once? Huh? This isn't an issue you want to push, Yagami. Worst case scenario, you get charged with witness intimidation. I'll give a fuck. All right, all right. Anyway, the victim was last seen at 7.50. That's right. Breakfast is at 8 o'clock, so the patients who can walk on their own gather in the break room. But on the day of his disappearance, 8.30 came and went with no sign of Wakusan. You thought you'd find him quickly. Didn't exactly turn out that way. Right. Got that, Yagami? Here. Let's go over some more details. Yeah, hook it up, hook it up. So let's hear what the great assistant has to say. What we know is, Waku was taken out of his room sometime between 7.50 when he was last seen, and 8.30 when everyone noticed he was gone. During that 40-minute span, somebody suffocated Waku and stuffed him into the laundry bin. Nobody suspected there was a body in the cart. And the only clear culprit was Okubo, the man in charge of the laundry. To further back this up, DNA evidence from Waku was found in Okubo's truck. Okay. And when the police questioned Okubo, he confessed to burying the body in the mountains of Okutama. Three months after the crime, Waku's corpse was finally found. Three months? With me? This thing's airtight, Yagami. I know you're getting into this, but come on. Just give it up already. You don't have a chance. Even though Okubo says he's innocent, hmm? I promised him we'd do everything we could. Not my problem. You shouldn't make promises you can't keep. <sighs> Fine, then I'll do it alone. You don't have to be involved. Yeah, Even then. if I'm not, the loss will hurt Genda Sensei's reputation. I'm sorry, but I'm our client losing, says right? he's innocent. I can't back down from this. I'm not losing. Look at it, I like it, man. <sighs> Fine. I'll be in the lobby. I like a determined man. What'd you say, Tuka Waka Waka? You heard me. Yeah, you know. Okay, so if you really got suffocated. Um, if you like. 
I could take you to see Waku-san's room again. Oh, I've seen enough. You don't mind? Oh, that would be great. Okay, I'm going back up. Here I am again. Don't really see anything out of the ordinary, though. Okay, talk to her. Hold on, let me show sure. Okay, we're going to examine it again. Waku-san was here until the morning of the incident. Then he just up and disappeared. Okay, and we got the window and all that. Let me talk to her. I know you got something to say. You didn't want to say it in front of him. Go ahead, holler at me. Um, are you finished? That's all you got to say? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen what I need. Anything else you can share? Yeah, what's up? I know you got some info. How long will Okubo-san's sentence be? Huh? Why? I if he's found guilty, that is. Probably ten years, maybe more. It's hard to say for sure. Why you say that? And what if he confesses? Would they shorten his sentence? Well, at the very least, it'd make a better impression than insisting he didn't do it. But you're still going to push an innocent plea? Even though Okubo-san is the one who'll suffer for it? If he's really not guilty, he won't have to. I'll win. Uh. But to be perfectly honest, this is my first criminal case. I'm a rookie. What? Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me, too. I've actually lost more than I've won. Is that so? Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. But I'm stupid. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then. Because I honestly believe I can win. Terasawa-san, were you close to Okubo-kun? Huh? I spoke to him pretty often, yes. I would see him around the ward all the time. And what did you think of him? Did he seem like the kind of guy who'd do something like this? All at me. I'm sorry. The director told us not to say too much. What'd that mean? What'd that mean? Wait! I got a dollar with you. If you know anything that can help, just get in touch, okay? Better holla at me. I'll do whatever it takes to set Okubo-kun free. But I can't do it alone. Just... give it some thought, Terasawa-san. Terasawa-san? Is that his girlfriend? Who was his girlfriend that got killed? That might be his new girlfriend or something. Just now, we went to the ADDC. Thought I should have a look at things with my own eyes. Whoa. And? How did it go? There's no chance you walk. You're <laughs> practically a lost cause. I mean, shut hey. your ass up! <laughs> Yagami-sensei, is that what you think? Hell no, I need that check, homie. We're gonna win it's this. It's like this, Okubo. You tell me you're innocent, and I'll fight to the end. I really have nothing to lose by helping you out. It's just like I told you. Tell me. Whoever did it is framing me. I'm with that. They framed you twice, cuz. Cuz they said they framed him. On the day of the crime, you were in the general war of the ADDC, yes? Starting at 8 a.m., you went around to each room and gathered the linens. Yes. Nobody would dispute that. Okay. And after that, you covered Wakusan's nose and mouth, oh, suffocated goodness. him, and then carted him out in the laundry bin. Can you shut up? That's not true. Wakusan wasn't there when I went into his room. I didn't see him at all that day. You have to believe me. This is the old and I do. So when you went down to leave the center at 10 a.m. after gathering the linens, you realized there was a body hidden in the truck. Yes. That's what happened. Huh? Then, after debating whether or not to report the body, you chose to hide it in the mountains. That's stupid. That's gonna be a huge hurdle to climb in the trial. Yeah, that was dumb. I had a criminal assault on my record. I knew the police would have suspected me if I went to them. Aren't you forgetting the bad blood you had with Wakusan? Huh? Oh, what you do? Bad blood? What are you talking about? Three days before the murder, Wakusan claimed Okubo-kun here punched him and stole his wallet. <laughs> they told me all about it at the center. When did you even ask? Yeah, bro. While you were busy chatting up Terasawa-chan. <laughs> even if I bitch about it, I'm still damn good at my job. Is this true, bro? Well, Okubo-kun, did you take his wallet or 
Not quite. They call it delusion of theft. It's a symptom of dementia. You think something's been stolen from you, then blame the first person you see. Not the easiest thing to deal with, right? Someone accuses you of theft for no reason? Must have been a shock. So when Wakusan tried to hit you, you just about hit him back. But I didn't hit him. My nigga about to defend himself. No. You murdered him. I wouldn't kill a man over something like that. Ah. I wish I could believe you, pal. <laughs> Come on, Okaboku-kun. You got a record of violence. I see why you did. It wasn't me. I swear. Somebody set me up. Why are you looking Please. Bad? You have to believe me. Whoever did this is laughing at all of us right now. <sighs> Calm down. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yagami Sensei. Do you believe me? I do. Okay. The next time, come alone. That's what I'm saying. Fire him. Fine. I can take a hint. You and Yagami Sensei can cuddle up all you want. He gone now, bro. Sit your ass down. Come on. Analyst. Man, put a belt on, bro. You don't look right with no belt. Hey. You know that nurse, Terasawa san? Cute girl. It sounded like she was worried about you. Bet you'd have a chance with her once you get out of here. That's what I'm saying. I think you killed her. No, no, no. That's his if girl. Excuse me. Bro, we alone, nigga. I'm not wasting no gas. Come back up here. So Shintani just left you hanging, huh? Yeah, bro, you need to fire his ass. He's gotta learn some damn patience. Yeah. Maybe so. But this is my case now. I can handle it myself. Yeah, get him off me. Huh. Okay. Also, dude. Also, we own the case, bruh. We back in the blast from the past, man. Yagami-san. What? Hmm? Have you seen Mafia lately? You still got the same outfit Where's this on? coming from? She's just not that great with men. I suggest you be more assertive. Right. Okay. Whatever. Uh, you mean that friend of yours, Sarikun? She's got Shintani all riled up. Said he'd have been nicer to you if he knew you had friends who looked like her. <laughs> Jackass. Hey, nothing's official yet, guys. Right, Regardless, up. keep it on the down low, okay? Had to know. Yet? That word says more than you think. <laughs> what? Shut up. So we're gonna end this right here, man. We're gonna have to do more investigation. Okay, we um we're the past Yagami right here. You see me, I ain't got the supercuts style on my head. Well, this is in the past, man. So we come back, we're gonna be in the past. So make sure you hit that thumbs up. Cheer for your boy. I'm out of I holler.